fly in today from New York. I've been, I've been flying Spirit Airlines a bunch. Everybody hates it, I know. I, but I paid $34. 34 to fly here. That's so cheap. That's so cheap that even if it crashed, it's still kind of a good deal. As it's going down, I'll be like, yeah, 34 bucks. What did I expect? They treat you bad, like they treat you like garbage, but that's why I like it. Like, they're the only airline that treats me the way I feel like I deserve to be treated. <laughs> all the other airlines make you like take off your shoes and belt, but Spirit makes you take off all your clothes. They <laughs> slap around your balls and tell you if it's a small penis. And I just feel like that's what I get. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm a half Indian man, I'll tell you right up top. I didn't mean to point at you, sir. <laughs> I promise I didn't. <laughs> Half Indian. Sometimes when I tell people that, they'll say this weird thing to me where they're like, oh, you're Indian, huh? Feather or dot? <laughs> yeah, feather or dot. What a fun, flirty way to marginalize two cultures. Three words. What racist efficiency. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that to white people, I've decided. Yeah, whenever a white person's like, hey, I'm white! You know how white people are always telling you their race. I'm gonna be like, oh, you're white, huh? Potato or Nazi? I'm a dot, by the way, I know it's called. Like a fun new slur, like Niger Curry. Some dots just walked in. <laughs> Looks like a damn game of Pac Man in here. I, uh... <laughs> and, uh, I'm a half Indian man named Tom Brady. <laughs> in case you're wondering how much my white mom hates my Indian father, give uh, your ex husband's name. What a kick in the balls. He deserves it too. Garbage. You might notice I don't have an Indian accent at all because he left before I ever heard his voice. So I can't do like a fun racist impression of him that we could all enjoy. I mean, I'll try one. I don't want to put that down. would be like, uh, I'm not ready to be a father. racist towards Indian people, but I just don't care. It's weird. When your dad's Indian and he bails, you just get to be racist towards Indian people. But all my stereotypes are just based on him. They're all like, what's up with Indian people? Always abandoning you. Why don't Indian people ever show you how to throw a baseball, huh? And they smell bad. I know, that's too far. I don't know baseball. I've never been hugged by one. I was actually uh, playing with a Ouija board recently. This is related. I was, uh, I was getting a little spooky and kooky with a Ouija board. And my friend was like, let's get even spookier and even kookier. So we tried to contact my father with the Ouija board. Yeah. And nothing happened. And my friend was like, oh, it's not working. And I was like, no. This is so my dad. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll tell you this, I hate my job. I'm a uh, stand-up comedian. <laughs> my dream job, though, is to be on uh, Shark Tank. I want to get on Shark Tank. I have some ideas that I think are going to take me to the top. I'll share with you. You seem nice. Uh, the first one is, uh, have you guys heard of the board game Don't Wake Daddy? Don't Wake Daddy? That's a board game I had when I was a kid, and I never really related to it. So, I think we're the new version of Don't Wake Daddy for kids who come from broken homes. Called Don't Wake Your Mom's Friend Scott. <laughs> you only lose if you call him Daddy. <laughs> the other idea I have for the show, this is a real hot ticket. People are talking about, a lot of people talk about online dating these days, right? Online dating? Well, I came up with a new thing. And I call inline dating. Yeah, you guys seem intrigued. Inline dating. Inline dating is where you see pretty ladies stand on the street talking to some dude. And you go stand <laughs> behind that dude. And you say, hey, is this the line to sex up that lady? 
these ideas. I'll tell you this. Uh, uh, my name is Tom Brady, and I appreciate you guys being cool about it. It's a bad name to have. I've been getting booed when I come up to Sage recently. It happens. I did a show in Indianapolis, Indiana recently, which is where the Colts play. And the Colts are like huge Patriots fans. They hate Tom Brady. And actually, recently, Indianapolis was named the worst place to perform by comedians named Tom Brady. So it's really but I did, and there was a white rapper hosting the show, which is what you hope for. And he saw my name on this list, and his eyes lit up. And he went up to the mic, and he was like, Oh, man! Y'all ain't even gonna believe what's about to happen now! We all Colts fans in here, right? And they were like, Yeah! And then he was like, And we all hate the Patriots, right? Like, of course! Then he said, I swear to God, who is the gayest dude you can think of who plays for the Patriots? And all together, like they were rehearsing it before I got there, some sort of a weird prank. They were like, Tom Brady! And then he was just like, yeah! Here he is! Here is Tom Brady! And then he just handed me the microphone and was like, good luck, man. I'm sorry. All right, thank you very much.